everyone welcome back thank you for joining me for another video today all right so before i get started a few announcements to make um, if you watched my last video or previous video before that i had mentioned i am doing another workshop here in my home studio which is in london ontario that was for june 25th that class has fully booked and i am now sold out so because it booked up so quickly um, and there were more people who wanted to join, I have opened up another class date. So now I have a class on Saturday, June 4th. Okay, so that's coming up in a couple of weeks. Um, so Saturday, June 4th, if you are interested in attending a home workshop here in London with myself, um, learn how to do acrylic pouring, learn how to do those blowouts with your with your hair dryer or use my hair dryer. Um, if you are interested in any information and would like to attend, you can email me at canalaseraco at gmail.com. Uh, I'm also going to be doing a resin workshop. This is going to be held on July 23rd. So Saturday, July 23rd. This is after I come back from my Naples trip with Tammy. So Saturday, July 23rd, a resin workshop where you will be learning how to mix your resin, how to use pigments, pastes, and powders in your resin, and then we will be doing a nice abstract resin piece on a birch wood panel. So if you are interested in the resin workshop, again, you can email me, canalaseraco at gmail.com for the details, the price, and all of that. So J July 23rd, resin workshop, June 4th, acrylic pouring workshop. Speaking of workshops, Tammy Anderson and I have one spot left uh, in our Naples workshop in Florida. That was, is going to be, uh, it's July 9th and 10th. And the last spot is for the July 10th evening class. If you are interested in that final spot, you can email us at fluidartescape at gmail.com. Okay, so one spot left and then we're sold out. Uh, last thing I want to mention really quickly, don't forget wood rounds. If you are interested, you can only pre-order. Pre-order is for May and June. Once June is up, the pre-orders are closed. I will place my order with my supplier. It'll take about a month or so to get them. And then that is it. I'm not getting any more of these. Um, so if you'd like to pre-order, there's um, four inch rounds, four inch squares, great for coasters. And then I have eight, 10 and 12 inch um, wood rounds. If you are interested for the details, pricing and all of that, email me, canalaseraco at gmail.com. Um, I think that is it. Um, so thank you to everyone who has already booked classes with me. Um, it's been a lot of fun and I look forward to doing more classes this summer. So um, that being said, I'm going to get started. No, I'm not. I'm going to show you guys the dried results of my, my wine painting. So here it is, dried absolutely beautifully. Um, so I'm super, super happy with this one. I really love the pink in there and the rose and all the shimmer it turned out really well very happy with this piece if anyone is interested in this piece you know what to do email me if you'd like to purchase it so there it is in all its glory i'm really i think this is one of my favorites um top 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 three i think so far um but i'm really happy with this piece the shimmer in it is pretty and I haven't resined any of them yet because I want to line them all up against the wall when I'm done so that I can take a picture of them without that resin like shine and reflection on them. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested in this or any of the other ones, um, they are available except the sage green. That one has sold. If you are interested in any of the other pieces from this color split series, you can email me. All right. So. I'll put this away. I'm going to get myself set up and we're going to get started on the smoky turquoise piece. Be right back. All right, everybody. So let's get started. So I'm working obviously on a 12 by 36 inch canvas. 
Um, in the last video, I had a lot of people comment with their color combinations and their color ideas, and they were all really so great, but I could only just kind of pick one. Um, and so I kind of picked one uh, and kind of went from there and tweaked it a little bit. Uh, Christina, thank you for sending me a picture of the color palette that you liked. So I kind of went with that one and then just kind of tweaked it a little bit. Um, I've also been getting a lot of comments. Oh, I really like the mustard piece. Um, can you do it again? Um, but with these colors instead, I'm only doing one color split base. I'm not going to do three mustards and two pinks and it's just one. That's it. So that's the one that it is. And that I'm not changing colors and trying again. So uh, if you'd like to see those colors, you're more than welcome to try it on your own and you can let me know how it goes. But only one color split, one video, one color split, one base. I'm, I'm not going to repeat base colors. All right. So today's color split is my smoky turquoise. So I'll tell you how I got to that. I used... Um, turquoise green by Amsterdam. I did not add any white to it. I just added oxide black by Amsterdam. So uh, I think there's about mm, maybe five or six drops of the black in with the turquoise to get the smoky effect. So that is what I used for that. And of course, my white base is going to be my uh, Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, the 2019 uh, bottle. If you don't have a 2019 bottle, you can use Titanium White by Amsterdam, Titanium White by Artist Loft. You can use White by Liquitex Basics. I think it's, I don't know if it's Titanium White, but you can use any other white. It doesn't have to be the Artist Loft Flow Acrylic. If you want to know how I mix my paints and my ratios for different paint brands, you can check out my video number 434. I will link it up here at the top for those of you who are new watching. Let's get to the colors. So the colors I'll be using today are Iridescent Green Blue by Pebeo. Then I have 24 Karat Gold by Deco Art. And then Titanium Buff Light by Amsterdam. I thought that would be pretty. Then I'm going to put in Iridescent Green Yellow by Pebeo and then topping it off a really rich blue color, Prussian Blue Thalo by Amsterdam. So those are my colors and here is my base color. So you'll see here, I think it's going to look pretty good. It's a nice color. Try and get the reflection out of there off the spoon. So there you have it. That is going to be today's pour. Um, there were so many color combinations I could have done. I could have added purple in there, um, but I wanted to stick to this color and this theme and we will see how it works out. Uh, I think there was something I wanted to say. No, I, I think I, I was struggling between gold and silver. And I've just had a lot of success with the silver and how the paintings, I mean, with the gold and how the paintings turn out with the gold. So I stuck with gold. All right, I'm going to flood my canvas and I'll be right back. All right, the canvas is flooded. I'm ready to go. So let's get started here and see what comes about. Clear the tip of my nozzle there. There we go. All right, so starting with this really pretty iridescent green blue. So this will add a really pretty shimmer for sure. And of course, we all know the gold will. The weather here has been so amazing this past week. It feels like summer, which is really nice. It's been in the high 20s, even 30 one day, which was really nice. 
Uh, we don't usually typically get such warm weather here in Ontario where I live, but it seems like uh, here in London, it's actually a little few degrees warmer than where I came from in Innisfil, which is quite nice. So um, I've been really busy lately, a lot busy. So that reminds me, for those of you who are waiting for replies on emails, um, you know, waiting for me to pack your paintings up and this and that, I apologize. My in-laws moved to London this week and this past week, and it has been nothing but me being at their house every day, helping my mother-in-law unpack everything and put everything away and help her settle in with my father-in-law and then we had appliances get delivered then we had the rogers cable and the internet and this and then you know central vac guy came like it's been nothing but crazy busy i've literally been there all day every day for the last week and i'm exhausted but um they needed the help um you know so I've been over there and so has Matt whenever he can be because he does work. Um, so he's been around there too, but I've been so busy doing that. So I apologize if I'm a little slow on getting back to you. If I'm a little slow on, you know, packing up your painting, if you bought a painting off of me. Um, just I'm really, really behind on all of that stuff right now um, because I've been helping my in-laws with their move. Um, the kids are super excited to have grandma and grandpa live six minutes or seven minutes away. So it's nice to finally have them up here and close to us. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get started. I'm going to start here. You know the drill. This is probably what the seventh painting. So let's just get started. All right, so let's start with A, the colors. Love the colors. but And this part's all perfect, but I ran into a problem right about here. Um, I didn't have enough base of the turquoise to help it flow, um, and it just wasn't flowing. So that's another important thing about when it comes to flooding your canvas. Um, if you don't flood it enough, then it makes it a little harder for the paints to move when you're blowing it out. However, if you over flood it, then your base color will swallow up your beautiful colors and then you have a problem that way too. So I, I always, I'm very stingy with my base color, my colored base color, because I only have one cup of it. So I was clearly stingy when it came to this area here and it was harder for me to blow out, but that's okay because I am now going to just blow it with my mouth and fix it the best I can. So let me do that. Let me get my stool here and try and fix um, this area here, but I'm not gonna touch this because this part's super duper pretty, um, but I gotta work on this. So without getting my microphone in the painting, All right, let's see what I want to fix next. I'm not touching any of this part because it. when you see, I don't know if you can see that, but when I bring you in for a close-up, you'll see it a lot better. It's super pretty. All 
All right, so that's better. So that makes me happy. There's nothing I want to touch on this end. I'm really liking this. And the iridescent green yellow by Pebeo is really going to shimmer once it dries. I want to blow this part here without face planting into the painting. Okay. And I think that is it. I don't think I want to do anything else to this. I really like this. It reminds me of a peacock minus the purple. Um, and I wonder if purple would have looked pretty in here too. It, You know what? It would have. Um, but, oh well, I didn't do it. So there's no purple. But purple definitely would have been nice in this as well. Okay, that's it. I'm done messing around. The stool has gone away. I'm going to fix my edges and I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close up. Be right back. All right, everybody. So before I show you guys the close up, don't forget to take your stick and you want to scrape your drips. Now, I've had a few people tell me they find this extremely satisfying when I do this in my videos. So here you go, I hope you enjoy. So there you go, scrape your drips, come back 10 minutes later, do it again, and then a third time if needed. I have put my extra paint left over here in my Loli Vefi container. I really love these things. You can see here, I have the rest of them, so I shall add that. Those are all my base splits except for the sage green, the very first one, because I ran out of that one. So we'll see what I shall do with those uh, when I'm done. And then here's my lowly Vefi stick, stir stick, which is now cleaned, and I will put it away and use it again. So that is the great thing about these. You can just keep reusing them instead of wasting popsicle sticks and throwing them in the garbage. You can save 10% off all your lowly Vefi products, your squeeze bottles, your stir sticks, your cups, your silicone mats, everything. You can save 10% off site-wide using code CANELA10. All right, so let's check out this painting. This is peacock to me. This is fully peacock to me. It's so pretty. I'm really happy with this piece. I'm loving the green by Pebeo. It is going to really shimmer when it dries. There's so many cells happening in this piece. It's so pretty. I really love this. And of course, it's going to dry a little darker, so we shall see when it's dry. All right, let's turn the lights off and check it out with the flash on. All right, so I've got the flash on. It is really bright in this in the studio, but you can see the shimmer. Definitely see the shimmer in here. This is why I prefer using the 24 karat gold and not so much the silver, even though I love silver, but in these paintings, it just adds a little extra oomph. You know what I mean? Like, look at the edges of those petals. It just really shimmers. The whole thing just really shimmers. And the Pebeo iridescents are going to look super nice when it's dry. There's going to be a lot of shimmer here. So many cells and they just all shimmer so nicely too. I love it. I love this piece. Look at this. Very happy with it. All right. So there you have it, everybody. I'd love to know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. Um, so that's it. I've got one more canvas left. I don't know if I'm going to do it in the next video. I do have to get to a commission piece for my client. Uh, she's been extremely, extremely patient with me, so I really appreciate her patience while I've been working on this color split series. 
So I'm, I've had a lot of people commenting and telling me to use all the base color paints and put them together and do a painting with that. So I may do that, um, but uh, let me think about it. Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys think about this one in the comments below. If you are watching and you are not subscribed, I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. If you like what you see, hit that notification bell. Uh, check out all the discounts and information in the description below the video. I have many discounts and coupon codes for various products. And that's it. Let me know if you guys want to join me for my June 4th. Uh, home workshop, uh, acrylic pouring workshop, or the July 23rd resin workshop, or come see me in Naples, Florida on July 10th. So that is it for now. You know what to do. Email me for all that information. So until next time, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Have a good day. Have a good night. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.